Phil Hinton and welcome to another video here on AV Forums. Today we're in Berlin and we're here for Philips live event, the TP Vision live event. We're going to see two new OLED TVs, OLED Plus TVs, the 907 and the 937, as well as some new speakers and other products. Unfortunately, we won't be catching up with Danny or anybody else from Philips in this video, but stay tuned to the channel because we have an exclusive video coming up in the next few weeks going into the products in a bit more of a deep dive, so stay tuned for that video. But let's have a look around here and let's find out a little bit more about the new products that are being announced at TP Vision Live. <music> So say hello to two new OLED Plus TVs from Philips for this year. The OLED Plus 937 is on the right and the OLED Plus 907 is on the left. There are a number of features to go through and both use the new OLED EX panels from LG Display. Starting with the OLED Plus 937, this is the flagship TV using a dual chip approach for the P5 Gen 6 picture engine, a newly designed separate speaker bar from Bowers & Wilkins, it also has the latest OLED EX panel offering up to 30% more brightness and it uses a heat sink layer to dissipate heat, meaning less image retention and what retention there is, is cleared up faster. Philips also claim a peak brightness of 1300 nits, but they clarified that this was in their renamed Vivid mode on a 10% window, and that the accurate D65 HDR mode will measure significantly lower than that. With the use of the EX panel and the claims of improved brightness, this will also put the OLED Plus 937 in direct competition with LG's G2 and Panasonic's LZ2000 and 1500. The OLED Plus 937 offers two HDMI 2.1 inputs at a reported 48 gigabits per second, but just like last year's OLED Plus 936, gamers should be aware that this is a dual chip system designed for picture performance and therefore it will not be able to display full 4K 120 at full resolution. For that functionality, if you must have it, you should look at the OLED Plus 907. The OLED Plus 937 comes in 65 and 77 inch screen sizes, so you get the biggest and most immersive flagship model yet from Philips. And the USP of Philips TVs is Ambilight, which has been upgraded with new hardware this year to allow for more precise and accurate colours, which can follow the action on screen, adding an even more immersion to the OLED Plus experience thanks to the four-sided approach on the OLED 937. The Bowers & Wilkins speaker bar has been upgraded again this year with new drivers with improved decoupling and round drivers to provide more precise sound quality and dispersion. As well as the famous tweeter on top design, there are new LCR drivers with two up-firing units with redesigned cones to allow for better projection of the sound from the ceiling, and there are two new sideways firing drivers at each end of the speaker bar, which fill in the sides and the surrounded duties. There's also an increase in the overall power to 94 watts for this 5.1.2 design. We expect a review sample very soon for our usual in-depth testing. Moving to the OLED Plus 907, and some viewers will like the fact that Philips has gone back to the integrated design ethos of the original Bowers & Wilkins featured set, the OLED Plus 903. This means that the panel has a thin, front-firing 3.1 LCR soundbar with the usual high-quality Bowers & Wilkins audio, and this is all as an integrated TV. The design will no doubt appeal to many, and the central stand design is a nice touch. The panel is the identical OLED EX unit from the OLED Plus 937, but this time it features a single-chip processor, meaning that it will support 4K 120 gaming with VRR at full resolution. It has the same heat sync to allow brighter images and fewer issues with image retention, adding to its appeal for gamers, but this is only available on the 55 and 65 inch screen sizes and not on the 48 inch. 
It also features the new ambient light plus on three sides with better precision to the colours and the effects while following video on screen. Of course, it can also be set as a static bias light and is really the USP of Philips TV lineup. As with all of Philips' recent OLED TVs, there is full support on both the 937 and 907 for Dolby Vision, HDR10 Plus Adaptive, HLG Hybrid Log Gamma and HDR10 formats, as well as Filmmaker Mode and IMAX Enhanced Picture Presets. Audio support features DTS PlayFi and Dolby Atmos, making the Philips one of the best format-supported OLED TVs on the market as things stand. The smart TV on both sets is Android 11, which features plenty of the most common video on demand services, as well as voice control features. Obviously, given the fact that these TVs were being shown at a launch event with specially commissioned video playing on the screens, it was impossible to get an idea of just how good the image quality is. But we can't wait to get both of these sets in for review, as they offer slightly different features for those consumers looking for great picture performance from OLED, as well as high quality sound, and in the case of the 907, decent gaming features which cover most bases for most users. You can get more information about these TVs in our in-depth news story on AV forums, along with other products also announced, such as the new Fidelio soundbar, speakers with ambient light built in, and the new Fidelio subwoofer, which when used all together creates a full-on Atmos sound system for the living room. And stay tuned for a more in-depth deep dive video of both of these newly announced OLEDs in the coming weeks on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.